In this tutorial, I want to speak about the concept of uh, size in Substance Designer and the kind of size in this application. As we saw before, when we went to file and create a new Substance Graph, in Graph Properties, we have an option size mode with two kinds of absolute and relative to parent and it's very important to know which of these uh, two modes you must select. For example, if you select uh, relative to parent, you are able to adopt the resolution of the substance during your work without losing any information. For example, if I click OK now, I have the size mode of relative to parent and the wide and height and 512 by 512 resolution uh, by default. And during my work, I realize I need a higher resolution to see the details better uh, uh, to see if my material is uh, good or not. So, because my uh, size mode is relative to parent, I can do that easily and uh, the information of details will be updated by changing my resolution during my work. And the other advantage using uh, relative to parent is when I export my material and package it and use it in other applications like 3D Studio Max, Maya, Unreal, Unity and other applications like that, I am able to change the resolution of it whenever I want. But if I set my size mode to absolute and for example uh, uh, leave these parameters as it is, I will have a material uh, with the size mode on absolute and the fixed value uh, of 512 and 512 for its resolution. And if I export my package and use it in 3D Studio Max, I have a material with a, a fixed value of 512 by 512 resolution and I cannot change the resolution. So, uh, most of the time we use relative to parent because uh, we want to access the uh, uh, resolution, uh, uh, access the change, uh, uh, to change the resolution uh, in other applications. So, we leave it as it is. And the other question is the meaning of parent. A parent is either an application in which you are working with. For example, I am working with Substance Designer now, so Substance Designer is, me, uh, is my parent. And when I export my material and use it in other applications, for example in 3D Studio Max, 3D Studio Max will be my new parent. And when I use it in Maya, Maya will be my parent. And each of these parents have their own default size. For example, the default size and resolution in Substance Designer, here I uh, set on 512 by 512. But uh, when I export my material into 3D Studio Max, the default size is 1K and uh, on 1K, and it's very important to know this. All right, uh, I don't want to uh, create a new graph. I will cancel that. And as you see, I have the graph of the material I created in previous lesson. And uh, as you see, in previous lesson, I uh, set my uh, default parent size in my graph on 512 and 512 and the uh, mode on relative to parent. And as you see, all my nodes has the size of 512 by 512. How can I change the resolution uh, of my parents? For doing that and for accessing the resolution and output size of your parent, you must double click on an NPT space uh, in graph editor. For example, if I double click here, I have the parameters of my parent and in output size I can change the resolution of that. Here as you see in white and height I have the value of 0 and the, uh, I have a word parent multiplied by 1 here. Uh, the formula is uh, parent multiply. Parent is my, uh, is my default parent size I set during creating the graph which I set on 512 in this example. Multiplied by this number is 2 power of this value and uh, 2 power of 0 is 1 and parent multiplied by 1 is uh, my parent which is 512 by 512 and if I change my value from 0 to 1 I have the parent multiplied by 2 power of 1 which is 2 and the 512 multiplied by 2 will give me 1k by 1k resolution and if I change it on for example 2 I have the parent multiplied by 2 power of 2 which is 4 and 512 multiplied by 4 will give me uh, give me 2k resolutions Another main thing you must pay attention is when you want to export your material and package it and use it in other application, it's very important to set the white and height in your output parent size on zero. Because as I told you before, 
uh, all the applications and all the parents have their own uh, default size. Here I have in Substance Painter my default size I set on 512 and as you see when a parent is multiplied by 1 will give me 512 by 512 pixel but when I use 3D Studio Max for this material my parent default size is 1K so if I uh, for example export this package as it is my default material size will be 1K and uh, so if I for example leave this parameter as uh, on uh, this uh, leave the par uh, values on 2 I have the parent multiplied by 4 so in 3d studio max uh, instead of 2k I have the default material uh, size of 4k and it will be a time consuming process during loading your material uh, and uh, the processing time uh, will uh, get a lot of time you uh, a lot of time and will uh, bother you during your work. So uh, let's set it on zero and I suggest you not to change this parameter if uh, if and even if, um, not to change this parameter even you are working with sub, uh, Substance Designer. For example for changing this uh, the resolution of your materials to uh, uh, on higher or lower value during your work in this application I suggest you to change your parent default size instead of your output size uh, output size for doing that uh, you can access your parent size uh, in, in this place and I can change my resolution from here for example if I set it on 2k I can do that and as you see my resolution is now updated and the information will update it too and if I want to set it on lower values I can do that again and uh, the information will update again all right uh, changing the parent site is not affected uh, uh, on the default material size on the other applications. So I, um, I suggest you not to change this parameter and use parent size instead of changing these values. And uh, if you haven't this option here, uh, you must click on this button. As you see, if I click, it will uh, appear and disappears. All right. And another thing I want to say you for having a more optimized material when you create your material and before exporting and packaging your material I suggest you to find uh, all your uniform colors and set their resolution on the lowest value as you can because uh, there is no difference uh, between a uniform color with uh, for example here 2k uniform color with a 32 pixels uniform color uh, changing the resolution will not affect the quality of just a uniform color so uh, for having a more optimized material it's better to set it on the lowest value as you can and as your uh, 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 software can recognize uh, and for doing that here for example I want to change the resolution of that I will select the uniform color here and change the size mode from relative to parent to absolute now I have the output so as you see white and height is now 8 and as you see we have uh, 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 256 pixels here and the formula for the absolute is 2 power of 8 which is 256 and I set, is, uh, set it on the lowest value I can and my uh, application can recognize which I set it on 32 pixel and it's okay for, uh, for a uniform color uh, I think but a problem occurs when I change uh, the size mode in uniform color from relative to parent to absolute. And as you see, my blend, which is my uh, parent of the uniform color, is uh, uh, the size of the blend is changed. And as you see, the size of my uh, base color, which is the parent of my blend, is changed too. Uh, because when I uh, change uh, the size mode of an input uh, input node from relative to uh, relative to parent to absolute, another new uh, size mode will appear uh, for the parent nodes called relative to input. As you see, if I click the uh, blend and uh, change the size mode, I have the relative to input, and the blend um, will be relative to my uniform color size. And uh, again, my base color will be uh, relative to my input, which is blend here. 
and uh, I must uh, for solving this problem I must change the size mode again and uh, for example changing the parent which is blend here and uh, set uh, it uh, relative to parent instead of relative to input so I set it on relative to parent and as you see the problem is solved all right let's uh, um, do our work uh, with the other uniform color I will select this uniform color and set it to absolute and uh, change the resolution to 32 by 32 pixels and as you see now I have the same problem here in my uh, final output metallic and uh, I must change uh, change it from relative to input to relative to parent but I have a, uh, I have a big problem here I have no uh, option for changing the size mode uh, in my final outputs how can I change uh, how can I fix this problem for fixing this problem I need uh, another node between these two ones for example I will select uh, this link and give it a levels node excuse me a levels node and I don't want to change anything and I just want to change the output size mode so I will select the levels and here in the output size I will select relative to parent instead of relative to input and as you see the problem is now solved uh, and this is the, the way we can solve such these problems here all right I think I have told you all the concepts about the size in Substance Designer and in the next lessons I will show you how to expose your parameters in your material so that you can use it in other applications. I hope this lesson was useful for you and uh, uh, I think it's enough for this lesson. Have a good time. Good luck.